but this is also a uh, this is also a kind of an experiment which we all are undergoing at the present juncture now coming to today's topic uh, which is you know a part of your uh, block on uh, you know uh, film film making and film production mc 14 block 3 the topic is film production now before you know we try to understand film production i think it is also very important that i try to put on record that we have lost two very important and significant personalities of the film industry within a span of just two days and it has indeed been a huge shock not only to the people working in the film industry and the film fraternity but also to millions of fans throughout the country and so throughout the world who had got used to the wonderful acting of none other than irfan khan and rishi kapoor so i think you know uh, it is a kind of uh, obituary and a, you know obituary to these two stalwarts of the hindi film industry i pay my respect to the departed souls and i pray to the almighty that that they be left in peace wherever they are right now the topic of film making is very interesting and uh, you know a one hour lecture would not uh, suffice or would not be enough to talk about all the nuances and all the aspects which are involved in the process of film making it's a, it's a huge 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 discipline and uh, you know i'm just trying to touch the tip of the iceberg uh, and i hope that by the end of this lecture i i would have been able to do that precisely be able to touch the tip of the iceberg which is giving my learners giving my participants of today's virtual lecture a basic introduction to some of the important aspects to some of the important aspects of film making now uh, you know i i i have a ppt uh, i hope uh, you know you uh, you would be able to watch the ppt which i have so uh, this is also a kind of an experiment uh, which uh, we would be doing so i am just trying to project my ppt just a second uh, yeah so now what is basically you know if i were to start what is this whole aspect or what is this whole concept of film making now it is nothing new to all of us that we are used to watching films and films play a very significant and a very vital role in all our lives i'm sure that there is not a single person in today's presentation today's lecture who would say that they have never watched or witnessed a film if that is the case then i would be really surprised and shocked as well and i would really like to know that what are those reasons for which you have never ever watched a film in your life but i take into account that most of us have spent a significant amount of time watching not just one film but a lot of films films may be in our own mother tongue which is odia films may be in hindi which we all we you know which we all watch in india hindi films are quite popular in india and thanks to you know the whole process of globalization that we now have access to some of the world cinema apart from english we have been watching you know hollywood films for quite some time now but apart from that we also have access to some beautiful world cinema whether it is from the uk whether it is from the north uh, from the south korea whether it is japanese whether it is you know taiwanese we are watching you know all uh, all these varieties of films from around the world now having said that how do i define this process of film making it's a vast process it is quite a complex process so what is this thing which i'm trying to make all of you understand what is film making to simply put film making is a step which starts from the basic of a script and ends with the final production which we see 
on these cinema halls on the screens the screens may be cinema halls but it can also be your mobile phones in this 21st century or television as usual we are used to watching films on televisions also so again to recapitulate film making is the basic process of converting a script to a final output which we as audiences enjoy on the screen what is the film actually try to do it tells us a story now what is the story how it is written we will try to explore you know one after the other you know as and when i progress uh, you know in my uh, presentation today now what makes film making a very different art is that it combines the use of audio and visual techniques if it is only audio then it won't be considered to be a film if it is only visual then also it may not be considered to be a film but it is the combination of both this audio and visual techniques which is what makes the whole the product a film now when films started you know in the early 1900s uh, we did not have a lot of technology during those times and when we look at the history of film making we have to trace it with relevance to the advent of camera please understand dear learners please understand this fact very clearly that film making is an offshoot of photography it starts with photography when photography as a device takes one step forward which means that now we are able to capture multiple images and club them together and put it in a sequential timeline which gives it a feeling of motion or movement this is how you know the whole history of film making starts with it starts with photography of you know when joseph nietzsche daguer and william henry the most important people who were you know behind the development of photo, you know camera uh, you know we have to look at them and we have to see that they helped us take one step or take it one step forward and we start making the process of films uh it is also very important for us to understand that these initial films which we are talking about started with only visuals please understand it started with only visuals as and when the technology progresses we see the addition of audio elements to the film making components so first we see visual elements the second we see that as technology helps us we try to add the component of audio or sound combine both these and what a marvelous and a fantastic piece of technology and entertainment we have right in front of our eyes i mean you know uh, as i'm sitting here and i'm delivering a lecture i can very well remember a wonderful scene from the film of rishi kapoor you know uh, from the film amar akbar anthony i'm sure uh, you know most of you would have watched this you know classic film amar akbar anthony and rishi kapoor plays the wonderful character of akbar and what is the role of akbar in that film akbar is a qawwali singer and uh, in that particular film when he performs for the first time on stage when he performs for the first time on stage he has also invited his beloved who happens to come to the auditorium with her father what a scene it is but also if you remember this song you know the wonderful song i have a short assignment for all my learners here right now after i you know after i stop my presentation i would be really happy if some of my learners can actually tell me that what was the name of that song which i'm talking about from the film amar akbar anthony where rishi kapoor sings his first qawwali song now when we hear that song 
वी लव वी डांस वी एंजॉय बेसिकली हम लोग सब झूमते हैं हम सब उस गाने के साथ थिरकते हैं क्यों बिकॉज दैट इज द पावर ऑफ सिनेमा दैट इज द पावर ऑफ फिल्म एंड दैट इज समथिंग विच हेल्प अस रिलैक्स एज वेल आई मीन वाई डू यू वॉच अ फिल्म टू आर्स आप फिल्म क्यों देखते हैं And definitely, you know, the whole purpose is in. We can have have certain information, certain messages, or certain ideas specifically involved very quickly. If I were to summarize this first aspect, which is filmmaking, the process of filmmaking is nothing but a uh, you know a step from script. to the final production which we see on the screen what is it to it tells us a story using audio visual techniques we express information now moving forward what are the various stages of film making now uh, you know simply put there are three main major stages of film making pre production production and post production now i will go into the details of all these stages one after the other you know i i will be going into that सर सर मैं मैं इंटरप्रेट सर साउंड इज नॉट कमिंग आई फिट इन दिन मैसेज बॉक्स I hope I'm clear to all of you. Okay. Please understand that there will be some short questions which I will be putting while I am presenting. So please be alert. If you are able to listen to me, if you are able to listen to me, then put it. Put your answers on the. and the box in the message box right
बर्षा जो सब डॉक्टर अनंग निवेदिता दास सुशांत Uh, I uh, I was you know out I because some uh, network connect issues but now I am back okay so we will be starting from the second which is pre production and post production and we will be looking at Mahendra Kumar he has uh, rightly thank you yeah so come you know with my presentation as I had already you know, uh, described the whole of uh, filming now let us look at Ways of filmmaking: pre-production, production, and post-production. Now, when we say filmmaking, we have to also understand one thing: that the process of filmmaking is an extremely, extremely elaborate process, and all the efforts of a lot of people are involved in the whole process of making a cinema. The cinema which we see. For a duration of say two hours, two and half hours, or three hours, is the hard work of hundreds of people who have tirelessly put up, put in their efforts to make what you are actually seeing on this screen. So the first step is. the process of pre production now when you know when we say film making one of the images which comes to our mind is usually the whole process of a shooting which is going on i'm sure you all must have seen either in cinema or in real life also that somewhere in some place there is a shooting which is going on there are actors there is you know there is lights and someone is saying you know lights camera and action and you know there is something which is happening and that is something which we have mo most of the time encountered but that is not the first step rather by by you know the whole process of reaching to that step is the pre production process now when you look at pre production i have listed out a few important steps which needs to be taken into account in the pre production process the first is the film project or treatment now this is very important because it all starts with an idea what is the film all about what are you trying to say in that particular film and are you know is it going to be a big budget film is it going to be a small budget film is it going to be you know uh, you know an english film hindi film odia film whatever who is going to be the director etc etc what is the story so it, it is an idea this is where you know people pitch their ideas this is where they actually say the whole story of the film in as short a format as possible maybe say you know two or three pages the starting the ending and the middle what is you know the whole story about wo film you know the film which you are going to make we first need to have a story so you know uh, uh, you know uh, when you see a film uh, you know it's a two hour duration and uh, before that film is actually sh shot someone must have had an idea that this is something on which we need to make a film iske upar hame ek film banana hai so based on that idea the next step or the whole aspect will start it is basically a narrative it is a narrative which means it is a story i am telling this story 
in a short format to my director or to my uh, actor who i want to take in my film if it's a big budget film say for example you want sharukh khan to be the hero of your film then you need to convince sharukh and sharukh should also be convinced that he will take that particular film so and you know sharukh khan or any big stars they are very busy people they they you know hundreds and hundreds of people would really want to make a film with them but as you all know they don't end up making film with each and every one of them they select they pick and choose they decide whether this story is worth making a film on so they listen to these you know these these uh, stories they start uh, it can be the director who is saying the story it can be you know the person who has written the story who has a, who manages to get access to the directors or to the actors and so on and so forth so the film project or treatment is nothing but it is a summary it is a whole summary a short uh, description of the film which we are about to make we have not yet made the film please remember we have not yet made the film it is a short summary then moving on to the second step in the pre production process which is the screenplay now this is a very 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 important step in the pre production process now when we say the screenplay this is where you start adding flesh to the bone or the skeleton imagine that the film is like a skeleton what a konkaro thik ho ji now on the konkaro से स्केलेटल ऊपर हमको एबे हाड़ो माउस दबार अछि नाउ द स्क्रीन प्ले इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ एडिंग दैट फ्लैश एंड ब्लड टू दैट स्केलेटल नाउ हियर यू डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इज यू नो हु इज गोइंग टू बी द लीड कैरेक्टर व्हाट इज द यू नो व्हाट इज वेदर द लीड कैरेक्टर इज अ हीरो और अ विलेन एंड वेदर द लीड कैरेक्टर विल लिव और डाई एट द एंड ऑफ द फिल्म who is going to be the director who will be who who might be the producer or so on and so forth and it also stages the set for describing who will do what kie kon kari bo se jinsa ta screen play re nirdharita bhabare describe kara hai ki lekha hai thai so again what is screen play screen play is a blueprint of a film which includes characters description character description now imagine apan man ko samasthu ko gote udaharan dau chi i am giving you all an example now i hope most of you would have seen the film piku yes ebe gote kichhi bi kichhi barsha purburu gote bahut hi sundar film asthala piku do you do you remember seeing that particular film let me see yes my audience you can type it in the answer box if you are able to hear me how many of you have seen the film piku let me see yes my andre ji has seen piku with saman ji has also seen piku meena 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 ji has also seen piku uh yes wonderful uh, uh so you know uh, the uh, it's it's wonderful that you know so many people have seen the film piku now when i say screenplay when i say screenplay here when the director would 
be deciding to cast Amitabh Bachchan. Please understand when the director would be deciding to to cast Amitabh Bachchan. then you know what one thing which he would necessarily have in his mind is that what is the whole character of amitabh bachchan going to be like character ta kimiti hobo is it going to be serious is it going to be funny is it going to be angry is it going to be humorous is it going to be complicated in sort of nihati bhabiba dorkar because if we don't give thoughts to this then the character will not be worth रिमेम्बरिंग जदि आम आज कहचे पिकु सिनेमा आम समस्त देखीचे आमको भल लगुच इट इज डेफिनेटली बिकज दैट दि फिल्म मेकर्स हाव गिवेन एडिकुएट थट टू डेभलपिंग द क्यारेक्टर अफ अमिताभ बच्चन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर फिल्म आई मीन बेसिकली यू नो इट इज डन विथ रिगार्डस टू अल दि क्यारेक्टर केवल अमिताभ बच्चन रखी करा हो मुझे इट इज डन विथ रिगार्ड्स टू ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलर फिल्म बट फॉर द सेक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड एज एन एग्जांपल आई एम सेइंग अमिताभ बच्चन सो व्हेन यू सी अमिताभ बच्चन यू सी दैट ही इज एन ओल्ड मैन हु इज अ बंगाली हु प्लेस द कैरेक्टर ऑफ एन ओल्ड मैन हु इज अ बंगाली एंड हु हैज अ सर्टेन हेल्थ रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम now that is where the most funny things happen in that particular film piku cinema re se health related issue ko nei ki bahut comedy hai isn't it yes so you know uh, continuing as i was saying the importance of these two places is very much in that particular film piku both delhi and kolkata now you the whole film is drawing a lot it is trying to take a lot but from these two places e jo dita jagar bhi mahatva achi se film bitre kebal amitabh bachchan acting kala ta mane nu hai jo film ta successful hai you know it is a me effort of the director and all the people 
involved who understood that amita but chance character in this setting of delhi and kolkata is instead of bujun amita bachan the character delhi of kolkata ये जो जो बहुत जरूरी यार जरूरी व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी होल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ राइट in a screen and when the uh, you know when the person who, who would have written the screenplay would have definitely mentioned or described about these two cities and how it plays a significant role in in that particular film or cinema now moving on to the
ଦେବବାବୁ ଦେବବାବୁ ଶୁଭା ଯାଉଛି ଆମେ ଅଡିବୁଲ ଦେବୀ ବାବୁ ଆମେ ଅଡିବୁଲ ହଁ ସାର୍ ଆପଣ ମୋତେ ତ ମୁଁ ଶୁଣି ପାରୁଛି ଆପଣ ଅଡିଓ ବୁଝୁଛନ୍ତି ନା ମାନେ ଶୁଭୁନି ତ ମାନେ ନାଇ ସୁଜି ସାର୍ କଟି ଯେ ଯେତେ ଫୋନ କରୁଥିଲେ ସେ ମଝିରେ ମଝିରେ ସାର୍ ଓକେ ଓକେ ସାର୍ ମଝିରେ ସାର୍ ମଝିରେ ମଝିରେ ଯେମିତି ଫ୍ରିକ୍ୱେଣ୍ଟଲି ପ୍ରୋବ୍ଲେମ ହେଉଛି ମୋତେ କୋରାପୁଟର ସେନ୍ତି ଅଛି ଓହୋ ଓକେ ଦେବବାବୁ କଣ କରିବା ସାଙ୍ଗେ ରିସେଡ୍ୟୁଲ ଇଟ ରିସେଡ୍ୟୁଲ କରିବା କେଟା ସାର୍ ସୁଜି ସାର୍ ତ ଜଏନ କରୁଛନ୍ତି ବୋଲି କହୁଛନ୍ତି ହଉ ତାହେଲେ ଟିକେ ୱେଟ କରିବା ଠିକ ଅଛି ଲେଟ ଅସ୍ ୱେଟ ସାର୍ 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 ଆପଣ ଟିକେ ମଡରେଟ କରଥନ କ୍ଲାସ ଟିକେ ନାଇ ମଡରେଟ ତ କିଛି ପିଲାନ ସାର ଇଣ୍ଟରାକ୍ସନ ଟିକେ ଚାଲ ସୋ ଲର୍ନର୍ସ ଆର ବି ଆମ ଆଇ ଅଡିବଲ ଲର୍ନର୍ସ Am I audible? Yes, sir. Audible. you have to bear with us because maybe it is that weather which is uh बिकॉज दि रिसोर्स पर्सन अबिका आम पाखे कनेक्ट हो पार ना मे बी बिकज अफ सम टेक्निकल स्नाक ଓକେ 
Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I. I mean, this is also one of the you know challenges. Uh, of uh, virtual learning, so we all have to be a little bit patient. Uh, I, I mean, you know, uh, India is still on the you know path of uh, developing into an vast uh, uh, IT infrastructure base. This economy, uh, we are all trying. So sometimes the weather does not support us. Sometimes you know the, the internet companies, the mobile phone companies, they don't support us. So it's just a matter of time and patience. Uh, and I'm thankful that you know all of you are, are actually patient and uh, trying. To listen to me, in spite of uh, uh, you know all the technical difficulties, uh, but yes, I'll try to you know continue from where I had left. So as I, you know, as I was talking about, uh, yeah, uh, can you yes, uh, participants, can you just uh, type in the message box if you are able to see the people. If you are able to see the PPT, type yes. If you are not, then type no. So that accordingly, you know, I'll uh, try to fix it uh, as soon as possible. Right. So, you know, uh, I was here, I was trying to talk about the pre-production steps uh, which are involved. Uh, I was talking about the location scout, the importance of location. Now, when we're talking about the importance of location, we have to understand that there was a time when most of the films, a major, major portion of the film was shot inside studios. Now, we are shooting inside studios. I mean, it's not that all the films are completely shot outside. Sambit, am I audible? Sambit? Yes, sir, you are audible, sir. Sambit, am I audible? Ah, the sir, Atsina Hanti. Il is not there. Ah, you can hold the stage. Please hold the stage. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, am I audible to all of you, sir? All of my participants? Yes, please, yes, continue. Please type yes or no. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you, sir. Sujit sir, how to learn more? Yeah, start. Coach, which is a Sujit sir. Sujit sir, how to learn the screenplay? What that? Our location scout. What that? Purbu, who is the like? Location is the heavy equipment. Thila, then the sound or bulky equipment. What that? Thila, what that? What that? Room size equipment. That could make any part of the audio recording. Kora, it's not possible for them. So, if they like, who is the like? So, they can record the studio. With the recording, record the shooting. Record the. नेक्स्ट फेज रे जेंती जेंती टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट हला से फेज रे से माने कोन करले ना ऑडियो इक्विपमेंट छोटो हे गला हैंडी हे गला कैची हे गला आ टेक्नोलॉजी रे बहुत डेवलपमेंट हला पर ऑडियो क्वालिटी भी बहुत बडला से माने से टू स्पॉट ओवर को गले विभिन्न स्पॉट ओवर जे के स्पॉट ओवर रिकॉर्डिंग करिले किंतु स्पॉट ओवर जिवा पर ता पर विभिन्न कथा हम देखिया पर जे हाउ टू चूज ए पर्टिकुलर लोकेशन फॉर फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर सीन प्रतिता फीलिंग को किसीटा सीन ने विभक्त करा जाय थे बा डिविजन करा जाय थे किसा सीक्वेंस डिविजन करा जाय आ प्रतिटा सीन को आउर ब्रॉडर डिविजन करले प्रति किता को शॉर्ट डिविजन करा जाय आ प्रतिटा शॉर्ट को गोटे गोटे टेक रे 
तो प्रत्येक स्टेप को गोटे गोटे मिसेले जमी आम कौन कर छोट छोट पेज मिसेक गोटे बही बा खाता तैयारी गोटे गोटे वार्ड अक्षर मिसिक गोटे गोटे शब्द शब्द गोटे गोटे मिसिक वाक्य वाक्य गोटे गोटे मिसिक पाराग्राफ तापर गोटे बही बा गोटे स्टाणा जस्ट लाइक दैट फिल्म मेकिंग छोट छोट जिन सब मिसिक गोटे फुल फर्म कनभर्ट हुए सेमती आम जो स्पट को जाऊ लोकेशन आम कौन कौन देखा पड़ो से जिन मुख्य कथ देखा तो लोकेशन प्रथम कथ हूँ कम्युनिकेशन जो निर्तन रहा दरकार जमी कि गाड़ी जाऊँ कि ना से जीवा सुविधा अच्छी ना से इलेक्ट्रिसीटी अच्छी कि ना से पा पवन के अवस्था अच्छी जदि आम समुद्र कूल जाए सुट कर भाविया पड़ेगा समुद्र कूल सब पवन हो अडियो क्वाटी बहुत खराब आसपूर्व कि प्रिकसन आमको नहीं कर पड़ा जमीक आम कह गले आम समुद्र कूल सुट कर जो अति नेसेसीटी अच्छी तेल आम कौन कर गोटे बुम जो बुम रड बा जहाँ कौन बुम माइक्रोफोन से माइक्रोफोन उइंग सीट गोटे दे नयज टा को आउ रेक कर टाइप रिस्टा प्रिकसन मेजर्स आम नहीं जी पड़ा पहाड़ उपर को जी पहाड़ उपर को जब सुट कर पहाड़ उपर जा सफिसीय मात्र बैटेरी फुल चार्ज करके आमको नहीं जी पड़ो तापर देखा पड़े जो आर्ट मैंने अच्छा से आर्ट मैंने के रे जो गोटे ह्यूज एमाउंट टेक्निशियान गोटे बड़ ग्रुप सुटिंग लोकेशन में सुट इनवल्व हूँ तो धरी नि गोटे शहे बाफ्टी अराउंड पीपुल जो मैंने कि जाए कम करने सुटिंग करने के रे जगह लजिंग फुडिंग अल दि आक्सेसोरीज जो गुड़ाक अच्छी से गुड़ा के फैसिलिटेट कर सब लोकेशन स्काउट देखा कथा तो आप नेक्स्ट कथ हूँ लोकेशन स्काउट में आम जो स्क्रिप्ट अनुजाई बा स्टोरी अनुजाई आम लोकेशन टा चूज कर धरी नि बाहूबली आम रिस्टाइट के स्टडी गोटे ना बाहूबली बाहूली लोकेशन अच्छी पहाड़िया लोकेशन जो विभिन्न जगह बांग्लोर में कन्नूर में केरल में विभिन्न लोकेशन से सुट कर आउ किस लोकेशन से भर्चुआली क्रिएट कर क्रिएट कर स्टूडियो भितर तो सब जाक लोकेशन आमको जो भाई आम इमाजिन करवा डायरेक्टर जो भाई भावती से भाई लोकेशन आमको मिल न था तो से हिसाब से देखा गले आम कौन करवा किसा लोकेशन को जैक सुट करवा आउ कि आमको क्रिएट कराइक पड़ो नेक्स्ट गोटे क्वेश्चन आस राकेश बाबू कर What is the role of ambience in sound development? I mean, take care of it. Sir, what about sound development? Or ambience? Or how do we manage it? So, location scout, or is it what about? But next, what is the budget? So, that is what I am talking about. Now, Sujit sir, what is the role of sound? Sujit sir, continue. Sir, please continue. Sound, sir. Sound, sir. Sound, sir. Sound, sir. Hello. Yes. Yes. Sujit sir, you can. I mean, thank you, thank you, sound, sir, for taking over or explaining. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, yes, I, I, yes. I, I was talking about location scout, and I, I have a next. I have then I. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, now, move, moving on, sir. Uh, I think uh, Sambit has also talked about you know uh, location scouting, and then the next point which I was talking about. Was scheduling. You know, scheduling is nothing but it is the process of timetable. I mean, uh, you know, within uh, one of the participants has asked, "What what is a virtual studio?" Now, I think you know, I will take the questions, Deepak Bihar. I'll definitely take you know certain questions which are being asked by the participants. Uh, so I'll very quickly you know try to focus on some of the important elements of the process of film making and film production. Then I'll definitely you know take uh, the questions. Now moving on to the aspect of scheduling. Scheduling is nothing but it is the timetable or the time slot in which. we are expected to finish that particular project of making the film or the cinema i mean film making is something which should not go on for eternity rather it should be finished within a particular and a specific time frame so you have to decide that when you need to start shooting when you need to finish shooting and you have to also decide that within what time you need to finish the process of editing and then by what date the film should be ready for release at national and international levels so these are some of the things when we talk about scheduling now coming to casting i mean obviously casting is an extremely important important process the whole film i mean may be a hit or a flop if 
the cast is not properly selected so cast plays the legendary actor paresh rawal i'm repeating the question in the film hera pheri there was a character which was played by the legendary actor paresh rawal can you tell me what was the name of the character in that particular film i'm waiting for the answers from my participants the i have got one answer yes 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 wonderful uh, deepak has given me the answer uh, yes uh, okay yes yes wonderful wonderful babu bhai yes wonderful uh, so you know many many uh, yes uh, rakesh kumar das has given me the proper you know i mean all of you have given the right answers uh, but rakesh kumar das has given me the full name of that character babu bhai ganpat rao apte a yeah, wonderful i mean yes i mean when you can you imagine i mean can you imagine you know the importance of that character in that film when you look at the character of paresh rawal i mean i don't think that there could be anyone else who could have played that role the way he has played i mean such a beautiful way of playing that character of babu bhai ganpat rao apte i mean it is a classic so you have to choose the right actors for the right role and that is where casting plays a significant importance if you take a wrong person in the wrong role then you know things might collapse so you you see sometimes you know certain films they fail because the character or the actors or the cast they were not able to do a good job i mean you know they were not convincing enough in their performance or maybe you did not like them in their respective roles the roles in which they were put in that particular film now moving on to the next aspect uh, uh, i would also just like to mention it to you know dr diveli that i am not putting on the powerpoint because i think when i am putting on the powerpoint uh, there seems to be certain network connectivity issues so i can share the powerpoint for today's presentation with you sir and you can uh, you know circulate it amongst your uh, learners for uh, uh yeah, yeah for for you know for the for the learning i mean sambit sir oh. has also written you know kalia uh sambit sir has also you know written about you know the character of kalia from shole yes wonderful sambit sir i mean kalia and not only kalia but can you how can we forget the uh, you know how can you forget the character of gabbar singh uh, you know the, the the you know the historic villain in in, in the hindi film industry अमरडिबुल सर हेलो यस यस समित सर कंटिन्यू समित हां सो आई एम कंटिन्यू अ सुजी सर जोटा कहुतिले जे अमर जो लोकेशन स्काउट पर नेक्स्ट टू द शेड्यूलिंग शेड्यूलिंग ए हिसाब रे करा जाय जे जो आर्टिस्ट अछन से तो गोटे फिल्म रे आटे टाइम गोटे फिल्म काम करना दी तो बा टेक्नीशियन जो माने अछन जो कैमरा मैन होंतु बा प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर होंतु बा लोकेशन साउंड इंजीनियर होंतु बा जो माने भी काम करछन जति भी आर्टिस्ट बा बीएफएक्स सुपरवाइजर होंतु से माने एट ए टाइम तीनटा चारटा प्रोजेक्ट रे काम करथांते तो वर्ष सारा तो गोटी फिल्म रे से माने काम करके बसी रहि परबि नै तो सेथि लागि से माने कोन करनती फ्रिक्वेंटली गोटे गोटे डेट प्रति मास रे किस्टा डेट गोटे गोटे प्रोडक्शन को देथांती से हिसाब रे शूटिंग कामटा जारी रहबे तापर नेक्स्ट कथा होछ जोटा सर कहउतिले जे कास्टिंग जे को हिसाब रे काहा को नबा 
ସେଇଟା ପ୍ରଥମରୁ ଡିସାଇଡ୍ ହେଇଥାଏ ଯେତେବେଳେ ଷ୍ଟୋରି ଲେଖାଯାଏ ସେ ଷ୍ଟୋରି କି ସେଇ ହିସାବରେ କାଷ୍ଟିଂ ବାବଦରେ ଭାବି ଦିଅନ୍ତି ଯେ ଏଇ କ୍ୟାରେକ୍ଟର ଏଇ ରୋଲଟା ବା ଏଇ ପୋଟ୍ରେ କଲେ ଏଇଟା ହିଁ ଭଲ ହେବ ତ ସେଇ ହିସାବରେ ସେ ରୋଲ କୁ ବା ସେଇ ସେଇ ପର୍ସନ କୁ ବା ସେଇ ଆକ୍ଟର ବା ସେଇ ଆକ୍ଟ୍ରେସ କୁ ଦେଖିକିରି ହିଁ କିଷ୍ଟା ସ୍କ୍ରିନ ପ୍ଲେ କରାଯାଏ ବାକି କିଷ୍ଟା ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଯେତେବେଳେ ଷ୍ଟୋରିଟା ଧୀରେ ଧୀରେ ପ୍ରୋଗ୍ରେସ ହୁଏ ସ୍କ୍ରିନ ପ୍ଲେ ଆଡକୁ ଯାଏ ତାପରେ କାଷ୍ଟିଂ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର କୁ ଦେଲା ପରେ କାଷ୍ଟିଂ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ତାଙ୍କୁ ନେଇକିରି ଅଡିସନ ଡାକନ୍ତି ସେ ଅଡିସନ ଟାଇମ ରେ ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଲିଡ ଆକ୍ଟର ସେମାନେ ତ ଅଡିସନ କରନ୍ତି ନାହିଁ ତାଙ୍କୁ ଖାଲି ସ୍କ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ଟା ଦେଇଦେଲେ ସେମାନେ ପଢିକି ଇନଭଲ୍ଭ ହେଇଯାନ୍ତି ବାକି ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଲିଡ ନୁହେଁ ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଗୌଣ କ୍ୟାରେକ୍ଟର ବା ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଅତି ଛୋଟ ଛୋଟ ଚରିତ୍ର ଗୋଟେ ଗୋଟେ ସିନ୍ ପାଇଁ ସେମାନେ ଆସନ୍ତି ଆଉ ସେମାନେ ସେଥିରେ କାମ କରିକି ଯାଆନ୍ତି ତ ତାପରେ ନେକ୍ସଟ କଥା ହଉଛି ସିଡ୍ୟୁଲିଂ କଲା ବେଳକୁ ସେଇଟାକୁ ମୁଖ୍ୟ କଥା ଧ୍ୟାନରେ ରଖିବାକୁ ପଡେ ଯେ କୋଉ ଆର୍ଟିଷ୍ଟ କୋଉ ଡେଟ୍ ରେ ଫାଙ୍କା ଅଛନ୍ତି ସେ ଅନୁସାରେ ତାଙ୍କ ସହିତ ଗୋଟେ ଏଗ୍ରିମେଣ୍ଟ କରାଯାଏ ସେ ଏଗ୍ରିମେଣ୍ଟ ରେ ସେଦିନ ମେନସନ ହେଇଥାଏ ଯେ ସେ ସୁଟିଂ ସମୟରେ ସେମାନେ ଛାଡିକି ସେ ପ୍ରୋଜେକ୍ଟ କୁ ଯିବେ ନାହିଁ ଯେ ପର୍ଯ୍ୟନ୍ତ ସୁଟିଂ ସରି ନାହିଁ ତ ସୁଟିଂ ଗୋଟେ ସିଡ୍ୟୁଲିଂ ହିସାବରେ କରାଯାଏ ଯେମିତିକି ସପ୍ତାହକୁ ଚାରି ଦିନ ସୁଟିଂ ହବ ଏଇ ସ୍ପଟ ରେ ଏଇ ଲୋକେସନ ରେ ଏଇ ଟାଇମ ରେ ଲୋକେସନ ମ୍ୟାନେଜର ର ଡ୍ୟୁଟି ହଉଛି ସେଇ ଲୋକେସନ କୁ ନେଇକି ସମସ୍ତଙ୍କୁ ପହଞ୍ଚାଇବା ତା ସହିତ ସବୁଠୁ ମୁଖ୍ୟ କାମ ହଉଛି ଆସିଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ର ଆସିଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ଆକ୍ଟ ଲାଇକ ଏ ବ୍ରିଜ ବିଟୱିନ ଦ ଅଲ ଦି ଆର୍ଟିଷ୍ଟ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଦି ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ଙ୍କ ଆଗେ ଅନୁସାରେ ଆସିଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର କାମ କରନ୍ତି ଆଉ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ଙ୍କୁ ଯେମିତି କୌଣସି ପ୍ରକାର ଟେନସନ ନ ଦେବେ ସେଥିପ୍ରତି ଆସିଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ଧ୍ୟାନ ଦିଅନ୍ତି ଆସିଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଡାଇରେକ୍ଟର ପ୍ରତିଟା ସିନ୍ କୁ ଦେଖି ଭଲ କରି ବାଛି ତା ଅନୁସାରେ ଲିଷ୍ଟ ତିଆରି କରନ୍ତି ଲିଷ୍ଟ ତିଆରି କଲା ପରେ କୋଉ ସିନ୍ କୋଉଠି ସୁଟ ହବ ସେଇ ଅନୁସାରେ ଲୋକେସନ ବି ଡିସାଇଡ କରନ୍ତି ତା ସହିତ କୋଉ ଟାଇମ ରେ ସୁଟ ହବ କୋଉ ଲୋକେସନ ରେ ସୁଟ ହବ କୋଉ ଆର୍ଟିଷ୍ଟ କଣ ପିନ୍ଧିବେ କଣ ହେୟାର ଡ୍ରେସ ଅପ ହବ କଣ ମେକଅପ ନେବେ କେତେ ଜଣ ଆର୍ଟିଷ୍ଟ ରହିବେ ସେ ଆର୍ଟିଷ୍ଟ ଙ୍କର ଏଜ କଣ ରହିବ ସେ ସବୁ ଜିନିଷ ଡିସାଇଡ କରିକି ତାପରେ ସେମାନେ ସ୍ପଟ ଉପରକୁ ଯାଆନ୍ତି ସ୍ପଟ ଉପରକୁ ଗଲା ପରେ ଯଦି କିଛି ପ୍ରୋବ୍ଲେମ ଦେନ ଆରେଞ୍ଜେସ ହୁଏ ତେଣୁ ତାପରେ କିଛିଟା ଚେଞ୍ଜେସ ସେଠି ହେଇପାରେ ବେଳେବେଳେ କଣ ହେଇଥାଏ କି ଗୋଟେ ଗୋଟେ ଜାଗାରେ ଆମେ ସୁଟିଂ କଲା ପୂର୍ବରୁ ଆମେ ଦେଖୁ ଯେ ଯୋଉ ସ୍ପଟ କୁ ଆମେ ପୂର୍ବରୁ କିଛି ଦିନ ପୂର୍ବରୁ ଲୋକେସନ ସ୍କାର୍ଟ କରିକି ଆସିଥିବୁ ସେ ଲୋକେସନ ନ୍ୟାଚୁରାଲ କାଲାମିଟି ଯୋଗୁଁ ହଉ ବା ଅନ୍ୟ କିଛି ଡିଷ୍ଟାନ୍ସ ପାଇଁ ହଉ ସେ ଲୋକେସନ ରେ କିଛିଟା ଚେଞ୍ଜେସ ଆସିଥାଏ ତ ସେଇ ଚେଞ୍ଜେସ ଆସି ହେଇଥାଏ ଯେତେବେଳେ ତାକୁ କଣ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ବନ୍ଦ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଆମେ କଣ କରୁ ଦରକାର ପଡିଲେ ରିସିଡ୍ୟୁଲ କରୁ ଯେମିତି ଆମେ କଥା ହଉଥିଲେ ଟିକେ ପୂର୍ବରୁ ଯେ କ୍ଲାସ ଟାକୁ ଆମେ ରିସିଡ୍ୟୁଲ କରିବା ହ୍ୟାଲୋ ଆମେ ଅଡିବୁଲ Yes, sir. I'm able to hear you. Sir, please continue, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. So, yes, uh, some people, as I was discussing about, so casting and uh, my participants also, uh, you know, gave me the correct answer with regards to the name of Parish Rao's character in the film, uh, you know, Hira Feri, Babu Rao, Ganpat Rao, Aapte. Now, yes, uh, as you have also rightly pointed out, Sambit, with regards to the importance of casting and, you know, the importance of the right characters. I mean, you know, the, the, the significance which they uh, play in the film. Now, moving on to the next pre-production step, which is the production de- design. Now, this is very, very important because now here, I would just simply, you know, just for the sake of understanding, for, uh, you know, for... Uh, on your understanding i would just simply like to say remember the film devdas sharukh khan's hit film devdas sanjay leela bansali and Dev, you know the film which he had made now if you remember that film had huge sets huge huge sets and that is where the production designers come into play because they, that film was set in an old, olden times i mean purana film ka and based on that you cannot get those kind of things right now in the real world but you need to recreate the reality you need to recreate a you know a re- recreate a scene where people will believe that the film is happening in the 1920s or 1930s that is where the production designers come into play they basically make something which does not exist in a way
then the last but not the least i mean you know uh, i have just tried to list out some of the most important aspects of the pre production process so this is not the last or you know or the you know uh, this is just one of the many steps before the people finally go into the next step of film making which is rehearsal now obviously i mean you know you don't expect that you know the actors or the characters will straight away come to the sets and they will start you know shooting people do need rehearsals okay and that is where a significant amount of time is also spent spent on rehearsing the characters which the people of that film are going to play or projecting so this in a nutshell is some of the steps involved in the pre production stage i will very quickly try to summarize these steps which i have just listed out in my presentation the first is the film project or treatment what is this this is nothing but this is a short summary of the film in a brief 2 to 3 pages this is you know the short story what is you know what is the whole film about the second step is screenplay screenplay is the is the complete blueprint of the film the cast the character the dialogues the, the settings kahan par wo scene shoot hoga din hai raat hai ladka hai ladki hai ye sara cheez screenplay ke andar aa jata hai storyboard is a two then the next one is storyboard storyboard happens to be a two dimensional visual description of all the shots which we are going to take or which we are going to shoot in the production stage then the next one is the short list which shot well, i i'll be talking a little you know little about the shot also the next is breakdown uh, followed by budget the financial aspect location scout kahan par shoot karna hai the importance of that place in the film uh, scheduling which is basically the time table then casting the you know who is going to play which character production design basically create thing huge sets you know to recreate certain things and rehearsal five before we finally go to the process of shooting now coming to the next aspect which is the production stage now this is where the actual action happens which we all might find very interesting to see usually you know pre production is something which we don't see it it happens behind the scenes most of us are not familiar or not not you know uh, uh, i i i would say are not uh, used to knowing what happens in the pre production stage rather we must have seen a lot of the action of the production stages because this is where the action actually happens so some of the important steps in the production is as follows first being location kahan par hum shoot kar rahe hain i mean you know during the course of my uh, you know uh, lecture i i forgot but one of the one of the participants asked me uh, what is a virtual studio uh, <coughs> if i'm not wrong uh, you know one of the participants asked me what is a virtual studio i uh, uh, just give me one second let me have a glass of water and then i'll answer that particular question now uh, i mean this is a, it is a very interesting question because uh, sometimes what happens that we need to create we, we see films where certain things do not actually exist in reality for example the films on dinosaurs jurassic park godzilla or you know uh, avatar or the, you know the the hollywood films do you think that you know these kind of creatures actually exist and they were used for the shooting of that films absolutely not they are created they are created using this virtual studios and you know computer graphics that is that is something which happens at a later part but this is planned matrix for example how do the characters they start flying in the air how is it happening of the you know how how, how are these things happening it is happening through the use of technology this is where virtual studios come into play <coughs> now yes moving on the first step is location preparation when you go to shoot the first thing which you have to keep in mind is the location needs to be prepared jahan par hum shooting karne wale hain it whether it is 
वेदर इट इज रेडी टू बी शॉर्ट एट वहां पर शूटिंग हो सकता है या शूटिंग नहीं हो सकता है दैट इज द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट थिंग द सेकेंड इज प्रॉप्स एंड प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन ना वॉट इज प्रॉप्स प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड अगर इफ सम ऑफ यू माइट हैव डन थिएटर अगर आपने कभी यू नो थिएटर किया है देन यू वुड अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रॉप्स प्रॉप्स आर नथिंग बट थिंग्स विच द कैरेक्टर और द एक्टर यूजेस फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर फिल्म से फॉर एग्जाम्पल Uh, you know, say for example, you know uh, whether the character should wear a specs, chasma. Character ta chasma pindi wo ki, chasma so ito se dadhi lagi wo ki, dadhi so ito se ghonta pindi wo ki, hathare anguti pindi wo ki, bedkore chain pindi wo ki. These are all the props. Say for example, in a scene, if uh, you know you need a uh, uh, you need a gun, what kind of a gun it would be? Would it be a pistol? Would it be an AK-47? Would it be a tank? Would it be a cannon? so this is what i mean by props all these things has to be ready when you are going to shoot the final scene then comes the lighting and camera the very important and vital aspect because camera is something which will record hum jitna bhi baat kar le whatever we are saying ultimately you need the camera to record all these things which can be used to make a film at the end of the day so here you have to take care that the camera is ready with adequate lighting now lighting is also very very important and very very crucial uh, maybe you know lighting also is a is a is a is an area for in depth uh, discussion i don't think that i can uh, speak a lot about lighting right now but maybe you know some other day i can uh, uh, maybe you know uh, some other day i can have a discussion about uh, lighting in one of my other lectures so moving forward to the next aspect of production is costume and makeup yes very important wo kaun sa kapda pehnenge you know what kind of dress the characters would wear and what kind of makeup would they be undergoing so if you if you look at piku again you know going back to that same example in piku you see that you know amitabh bachchan is using a hat as an important prop गोटे मुंडो पर गोटे हाट जो दैट प्लेज अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन दैट पर्टिकुलर फिल्म दैट हाट डेवलप्स हिज कैरेक्टर इट डेवलप्स हिमसेल्फ एज अ पर्सन हिज पैक्स आर ऑल प्रॉप्स एंड लुक एट द मेकअप यू नो ही इज हैविंग दिस दाढ़ी एंड यू नो दिज मूव दैट गिव्स हिम अ वेरी नैचुरल लुक एज एन ओल्ड मैन ऑल दो ही इन रियल लाइफ मे बी सेवेंटी प्लस इयर्स ओल्ड बट फॉर दैट फिल्म यू लुक एट दि वे दि कैरेक्टर हेज बीन made up the use of that particular makeup in that particular film and last but not the least i mean obviously when so many people are out there on the field you have to take into account the lodging and catering bahar ja rahe hain kahan rukna hai kahan khana hai kya karna hai ye sara cheez all these things you know play a very very vital and a significant role this is what the production is production basically to put it simply and to summarize it in one single line is the whole process of going out into the field and shooting it <coughs> uh, deepak bivar yes i mean i would say yes props stand for properties uh, but we don't use properties basically it we say, you know uh, we simply say props it means that use of certain items for the particular scene or particular shot now moving on to the next step which is the post production step now in post production step there are three aspects which i am going to talk about very quickly today the first is editing the second is visual effects and the third is sound or music i mean uh, partha sarathi ji uh, can you please yeah wonderful yes so you know coming to post production steps now the first aspect is editing now if you say that <coughs> uh, now if you say that writing a script plays a significant role then the equal importance or the equal role is also played by editing because and proper and a good editing can make or break the film so please understand that if script plays a significant role in the process of making a film so does editing a cinema can be made or broken if not edited properly 
so the most important aspect in the post production phase is editing what is editing again very quickly and very simply if i were to explain editing is the process of joining the sequence of all the raw footages which has been taken during the production stages production stages the shooting which has actually been done now needs to be taken to the editing step or the editing table where they are joined properly and compiled into a proper film that is what editing basically is i mean again i mean editing these are you know a very in depth aspects of uh, uh, I, i would say uh, you know film making i mean that itself uh, you know uh, takes a significant amount of the film making process so we have to understand that we have to give a lot of efforts on editing in editing basically what we uh, try to do is we try to join the scenes and the shots which we have taken and compile it together to form or make the final film or the final movie now moving on to the next aspect is vfx very interesting which is known as visual effects i mean thanks to technology that you know we are now able to create vfx of almost any and everything which we think about so and hollywood is a classic example of you know vfx i mean we also see vfx which are used in indian cinema uh, but uh, i would say that it is the hollywood cinema uh, which uses uh, vfx to a very 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 high level and uh, there's something you know which we should admire the use of vfx in that film is extremely extremely interesting i mean you know the list is endless the list of vfx which is used in cinema is endless i can go on and on and on and on and on about the number of films which have used vfx i have just mentioned you know some time back films like whether it is matrix whether it is jurassic park whether it is uh, avatar whether it is uh, godzilla all these films you know are using vfx uh, very recently you know the uh, film of leonardo di caprio inception also was heavily uh, you know using vfx as its important aspect now what vfx does it creates it creates something using computers which may or may not exist okay uh, you know they may or may not exist but you need to create obviously and uh, some the thank you i mean spider man it's a wonderful example these you know uh, superhero movies i mean uh, you know how does spider man fly i mean obviously in real life spider man cannot fly but if for a, for a film you may you need to make him fly so how do you do it you use vfx now moving on to the next aspect of the editing process is sound or music again if i say editing plays a crucial role then so does sound and it plays a even more important role at least in the indian cinema context kyunki at in india it is the only film industry where you would see that before the release of the films it is the sound or the music which is released and there was a time when the success of the film depended solely on the success of its songs agar gaane hit hain to picture hit ho jayega wo ek zamana tha aajkal bhi ho raha hai i mean today also the you know the same thing is also happening but uh, uh, i mean but yes yeah i mean today today also it is uh, it is uh, today also it is happening but we can also say that sound plays a significant role now when i'm saying sound or music i mean the, you know it is also a integral part because there are a lot of sub components which are involved the say for example i mean you know when you are shooting a scene uh, say for example uh, in a, where a person is running on the street a scene imagine imagine for a moment that a person is running on the street ek aadmi raste pe daud raha hai now when that when you are shooting that scene ab jab aap us scene ko shoot kar rahe hain you are trying to first show the legs you start with the leg you are trying to show that only the legs are visible then slowly 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 you go upwards and then you show the person who is running well, why is he running what is the reason that is slowly revealed in the course of uh, you know uh, in in the course of that particular film so here what we are seeing is that if 
there is no sound if is only running you know there is some background no music there is something you know ghoda pe daud raha hai ki paon pe daud raha hai jute ka aawaz hona chahiye gaadi ka sound hona chahiye these are all music and these are all sound i mean can you imagine watching a film without any sound in it there was a time when we call we used to call it as the silent era films i mean when you know films did not have any sound in it but gone are those days when we are making or watching cinema which has no sound in it so <coughs> sound plays a significant role i mean what better example i can give than ar rehman the world famous music director from india who gives wonderful music not only for indian cinema but also for world cinema and he happens to be an oscar winner because of his wonderful sound so in a nutshell i have tried to look at what is the definition of filmmaking what would you actually you know define filmmaking to be what are some of the important stages in the process of making a film uh, i think you know i'll stop here for a moment and i'll take uh, you know a few questions uh, if the audience you know if the learners have a few questions then i would take a few questions uh, uh uh sambit uh, you know you can have, you can tell me you know what is the best mode of taking questions shall i take it using uh, uh you know the chat box or shall you know the students pose their questions using their microphones i mean whatever you decide and assist sir decide i am fine with it sambit you select the questions uh, you select the questions and pose them one by one uh okay sir uh, thank you sir um the first question is uh, what about recording of audio and um, uh, what is the role of the audio in cinema okay 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 thank you uh, thank you sambit i mean yes i mean obviously as i was discussing that you know can you imagine watching a film without any sound uh, i mean the simple example would be uh, this particular lecture if my audio itself is not clear to you then the purpose of this whole lecture gets defeated similarly in a film when we are saying that it is an audio visual medium the audio plays a very very vital role whether it is the dialogue of the character or whether there is a background music or whether there is a song it you know it adds to the temperament and the mood of the scene if you are saying imagine that you know you want you are seeing a horror film and in a horror film the lightning and the meowing of the cat agar bijli kadak rahi hai aur billi agar ro rahi hai so that creates a certain kind of a feel and a certain kind of a mood the rain which is falling the amavas ki raat what are these you know amavas ki raat ko hum khali nahi dikhate hain we show the amavas ki raat with the you know cat meowing door mein billi ro rahi hai bijli bhi kadak raha hai so that is what i feel you know is the importance of sound i mean i would not say that you know uh, films without sound are not made they are very categorically made but it depends that you know how a filmmaker wants to project his or her feelings or thoughts into the process of his or her narration uh, a small example you know of use of no sound is also there uh, for example in films uh, of uh, uh, you know the uh, ram gopal verma i can remember of the film uh, you know sarkar there is a scene uh, you know for almost 10 to 11 minutes the first part of sarkar if the audience you know if my learners today get an opportunity please do watch the film sarkar you will see there is a scene where, where for almost 10 to 11 minutes there is no dialogue there is only background music which is slowly playing and that scene is an extremely extremely powerful scene in that film without a single dialogue without a single thing which is being spoken by any of the characters a significant amount of emotions is being conveyed only through background music so i think sound definitely plays a significant role in a film or a cinema or any form of audio visual medium which we are talking about uh, thank you sir uh, and uh, second question is uh, <laughs> is on the sound uh, one of our uh, participants has asked that uh, can the ambiance role is important in the film or cinema yeah absolutely i mean you know ambience definitely you know plays a very significant role now first we have to understand what is ambient sound again a simple example right now you know while i'm talking to you 
I got the ambient sound of a car passing by from Sambit. Your, you know, from your handle, I got you know the sound of a car passing by. That is what I mean by ambient sound. You speaking to me is the main sound, but the car which just passed by your home or wherever you are is the ambient sound. Now that adds to again you know the character. If I am in a market, okay, I am in a market. Is the market place a completely silent area? Absolutely not. There is, you know, some noise. There is some sound which is constantly happening. Now, when you're shooting something in that kind of a setting, a market, me, agar mujhe ek scene shoot karna hai, then definitely I need to create that ambience where the audience can feel that they're actually in the market. You are in a railway station. I mean, can you imagine being in a railway station without the announcements in the background? You pick and choose any cinema in India. which has a railway station scene and perhaps in most of the films you will see that there is a train horn train horn or uh, railway announcement being played in the background that plays a significant role so this is what i think you know is ambient sound is all about uh, <clears throat> someone is asking me a question mahendra kumar mishra uh, the role of choreographer in cinema i mean especially in indian cinema i mean i absolutely agree with you mr mahendra kumar mishra that you know choreographers play a very significant role i mean again if the song makes a film a hit it is also the dance which makes a film choreographer's role may, may mostly the choreographer is the dance master they decide how what is going to be the dance so if you know munni badnam hui ya sheela ki jawani ya you know uh, 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 or any any popular song which you see on uh, these films these days with the dance then it is the choreographer who decide that how that dance is going to be when salman khan in the film dabang says hud hud dabang and when he moves his pants up and down that is also something which is decided by you know the choreographer it's a dance it's a scene it's a you know it's it's a form of a dance so yes choreographers you know play uh no uh, mahendra ji you know choreographers are mostly limited to dance you know they basically you know they choreograph you know the dance sequence so they are hired mostly for you know using uh, for dance only sir so, uh, can i add here something yes somebody please go ahead yeah uh, mahendra mishra jo question question je choreography limited to dance apan uh, to already kahi sele so that is just answer it chanchi जे के हम आगुर तो डर देख ले गोटे ग्रुप रे बल्क ऑफ पीपल दे आर डांसिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा ता गोटे सेम से एकदम आमे ताको जदि भल से मार्क करबा एकदम बैकग्राउंड रे रहुसी एकदम फोर्थ लेयर रे लेयर वाइज हम तो देखिया जदि तो एकदम फोर्थ लेयर रे रहुसी बैकग्राउंड जोटी पार्ट ऑफ से और अलग बैकग्राउंड से जा लागि छि जाबे जाबे देखिले ता पर नेक्स्ट ता पर को रहुसी जो माने ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल गोटे ड्रेस एचन वेल ड्रेस गोटे सिंगल कलर बा मल्टी कलर ड्रेस एचन तापर नेक्स्ट रहले जो माने फर्स्ट लेयर जो माने रहले से माने रहउछन लीड कैरेक्टर बा हीरो बा हीरोइन बा जा भी अपन देखछन तो ता भीतर गोटे जिंस कोरियोग्राफी आगुर थिला कोन कोरियोग्राफी आगुर थिला लिमिटेड मान केवल डांसिंग ऊपर ही थिला फोकस्ड वर्तमान कोरियोग्राफी किस्ता फिल्म में अपन मार्क करथिबे कोरियोग्राफी भीतर किसीटा सीन इनकॉर्पोरेट होउछि मोहरा देखिए मोहरा फिल्म आगुरु कौन देखिए मोहरा फिल्म गोटे सीन चली चली सोरियोग्राफी देखा भाई चल थी पुलिस आलग ड्रेस पिंधिक बस किसी समय से बिलियन मान को धरने भी मानते भर गोटे प्लानिंग चल तो भी कोरियोग्राफर आईडिया इनकर्परेट होता है विथ द परमिशन अफ डायरेक्टर डायरेक्टर सहित तो मिसिकी से सीन टाक से प्लानिंग ही करते कोरियोग्राफी नट द मीन दैट केवल से डांसिंग ही देखे कोरियोग्राफी मान पर्टिकुलर हूँ गोटे सीन टाक केमी कोरियोग्राफ कर नट लिमिटेड टू डांस सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आम सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थी एक्सप्लेन लोकेशन अडियो एंड डबिंग प्लीज एक्सप्लेन सर Lo- location audio and dubbing okay now see i mean you know one of the things is when you are shooting uh, you know the whole process of uh, be taking the dialogues during the location happens i mean the characters or the actors they record their dialogues but 
when you see it in recording it on the scene or on the spot may sometimes lead to loss of audio quality so filmmakers they don't take any chance what they do they have taken you know because if you want to deliver a dialogue i mean you cannot just move your lips up and down without saying actually the thing which you have to say i mean you cannot say gabbar singh cannot just move his lip up and down without saying kitne aadmi the he needs to say that to get that feel but when he says that there is also the problem of you know that not being recorded properly i mean obviously technologies are there where it to be recorded but filmmakers when they are spending lakhs and crores of rupees they would not like that simple thing to be missed out while they are finally releasing the film so it is recorded on the scene or on the spot but when they go to the editing stage it gets dubbed which means that the actors they watch the scenes on the screen and they again repeat it in a studio based environment so that the sound quality becomes absolutely perfect which we hear in this cinema halls that is what you know is sound on location and dubbing sir uh, thank you sir next question is uh, dialogue ago likha hue na storyboard ago likha hue Uh, see, I mean, you know, I, I I would not say that there is any hard and fast rule as to whether dialogue is written first or whether storyboard is written first. See, it all depends on you know how the filmmaker perceives the project of filmmaking to be. I mean, uh, I'm sorry to say, but when you look at Odia cinema, for example, the commercial Odia cinema, I actually doubt that they whether they ever have a script today. They just simply make a film without even having a script. and they they decided on the dialogues on the location and that is why uh, you know and uh, uh, that is why you see the you know the quality of film which is made in odia cinema so we cannot say that whether it is dialogue or dubbing which uh, sorry uh, whether it is dialogue or storyboard which is first but ideally ideally if you are supposed to make the film in a proper format a rigorous format then you definitely need to you know uh, have uh, the dialogues first because dialogues are something which needs to be developed right at the stage of screenplay at the stage of screenplay you need to know what is the character going to say the character is not going to remain a mute spectator the character has to say something and when you have the dialogues ready you can then decide that how you are going to shoot it wo storyboard mein wahan aap usko visual description kar sakte hain so that is how it goes but then it again all depends on the filmmaker's choice and the perspectives and how they look at the process of making a cinema uh some way through just keep it add karna chahiye as usual je jante se katha katha utle je dialogue ago ki storyboard ago already suji sir koi chale ni je actually dekha gole odia film standard to etta mane below standard सेतर से माने मेंटेन किछ करूना दी सेते कोन हुए ना फर्स्ट स्टोरी टे आसे स्टोरी पर स्टोरी टे जदी आइडिया मनु पाइला तार सिनोप्सिस छोटो रकम रे प्रिपेयर हुए छोटो फॉर्म रे प्रोड्यूसर पाखो जाए प्रोड्यूसर अप्रूव कोला पर सेतर से पैसा इन्वेस्ट करंती ता पर कोन हुए ता ता पर नेक्स्ट होची तार सीन ब्रेकडाउन हुए तो ताको सीक्वेंस करा जे केटा सीक्वेंस रे फाइट सीक्वेंस अछि ड्रामा सीक्वेंस अछि ता पर कॉमेडी सीक्वेंस अछि ए सब सीक्वेंस रे ताको डेवलप करा जाए प्रतिटा सीक्वेंस को पूरी ब्रेकडाउन करे किछटा सीन रे डेवलपमेंट करा जाए सीन टा डेवलपमेंट कर के शॉर्ट रे डिविजन कर जे किंतु सीन ब्रेकडाउन कला पर नेक्स्ट होची तार पर्सन होची जे डायलॉग लेखाबो किंतु ओडिया सिनेमा रे सेटी पर्टिकुलर केटा जगह रे आमे देखि जे बा आगु को जदी किछ तकार पड़े एग्जांपल भी मो पाखे अछि मो देखि परबी इन फ्यूचर केत बले छत्र कोन करम से माने ऑन स्पॉट रे डायलॉग लेखन जे जा सुजी सर कहतिले आउ केत जन कोन करम जे डायलॉग नै कि भी जाइथन ता ऊपर स्टोरी बोर्ड विदाउट एनी स्टोरी बोर्ड सीधा रखिबे कहबे एटी कैमरा मेंशन एटी थोई दियो कैमरा बस एई शॉट मते दरकार से डायलॉग जो लिखा ही तो परु पर गोटे पर गोटे कैरेक्टर लिखा ही तो से डायलॉग ऊपर जेम ते कंप्लीट हो ता पर गोटे डी गोटे मार्क द बड़ो कैपिटल डी इट मींस डन ता भीतर कोनसी लॉजिक आपण पाइबे ने जे से शॉटटा से कोन नेले केमिति नेले काहे कि नेले आ त को ताको अलगा आंगेले नेथले भत भलो थांदा कि नाही से भीतर कोनसी प्रकार लॉजिक आपण ताको जदी पचारिबे दे विल नॉट आंसर इट किंतु प्रैक्टिकुला प्रश्न जदी सर कहले फार्मूला जदी हम देखिबा तो आगो स्टोरी स्टोरी पर हम सीन सीन पर डायलॉग डायलॉग पर 
स्क्रीन प्ले स्क्रीन प्ले पर नेक्स्ट हूँ स्टोरी बोर्ड स्टोरी बोर्ड एव्री डिटेल्स पाए स्टोरी बोर्ड रोटे बड़ कथा था गोटे सैड रेटा जमी देखुचे हरइजेटा फ्रेम स्टोरेज बोर्ड था आम जो लिखा बेलू खात कौन भर्टिकल फर्म लिखुचे कि स्टोरी बोर्ड टाइम हरइजेटा फर्म लिखा स्टोरी बोर्ड रे गोटे एकदम लास्ट कर्णर में गोटे बक्स है छोटा बक्स टाइम से बक्स रिन आरंभ मृणाल सेन फिल्म को जो जो ट्रिलोजी अच्छी अपरे संसार अपराजित पथर पांचाली बाकी जहाँ भी अच्छी फिल्म स्टोरी बोर्ड प्रिपेयर करी कर Uh, if you want to see a storyboard, I mean, obviously you can go to Google and you can search. But there is a film, an English film called uh, known as Argo. Uh, you know that film won the Oscars. In that film, uh, there is a very there are many scenes where you know the characters are talking about storyboard and they are showing storyboards. So if you get access to that cinema, you can also see you know what storyboards are uh, you know as an example. thank you sir um, i think there is no more questions uh jodi kar okay. kichhi question thai ebe ebe put kar parandi acha tale gote question asti whether story is written based on star cast or vice versa sir okay yes i mean very interesting question deepak uh, deepak bibhar i see i mean again Uh, film making basically is a creative process now sometimes what happens salman khan decides to make a film and we all know that salman khan makes one film in a year okay now for him it does not matter you know it simply does not matter that uh, whether the story is written first salman khan wants to make a film on certain aspect so taking salman khan into account the story will be written like that that is how so you just you just cannot say that you know ki uh, uh, story usually i mean it is expected it is a good cinema which is a script based cinema has a story first but sometimes when these big actors you know these big star cast are involved they decide on the story and they say we'll make a story like this that's it and then someone has yes a pov's point of view and definitely i mean point to simply help you understand uh, point of view is nothing but when you shoot a scene in a cinema you are basically when two people are looking at each other two people are standing and they are trying to they are looking at each other then you have to shoot it in such a way that person a is looking at person b and person b is looking at person a that shot is known as point of view uh, you know i think you know we can uh, uh, the, 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 these are more something you know which requires a practical aspect so maybe you know once you know this lockdown and these things are over <laughs> we can always have you know a workshop session on you know all these uh, you know fact uh, aspects of film making it, it's quite interesting uh, so we like uh, that's a different thing. Uh, sir i have a question uh, uh, what is the basic difference between point of view and view point uh you you point i mean i don't know that that seems to be a very difficult question because, <laughs> no, because no sir it's not a typical question sir a view point uh, a view point I, I, is I, I, see i mean if, if uh, yeah 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 devani sir please go on is there something Hello, called a view point in film studies or a view point simply refers to an opinion no sir it's it's there in film grammar sir it is there does see, it relate i mean uh, i mean uh, yes i will see basically i mean if you look at the technical definition then i would say both of them are the same things it is uh, whether it is view point or point of view they both are technically the same thing but if you look at it from specific contexts 
then going on top of the hill and standing at a view point is a different thing that has got nothing to do with film making by the way okay so it then view point can have very different meanings and as uh, the way this are also pointed out view point can also become a piece of opinion of someone so uh, from a film making perspective i don't see a lot of difference in it but if you look at it as a word then these two definitions do also need to be taken into account thank you sir and uh, there is a question from jagannath patnaik uh, he asked that uh, what is soap opera yes Uh, simply put, soap opera are the sas bahu serials which we all watch on <laughs> television these days. You understand? I mean, soap operas, you know, they go, they go on and on, and they never end. Okay, and uh, it is, and soap operas are basically, you know, television serials. Uh, they are basically television serials, and uh, they have a lot of melodrama in it. So, if in that one thappad falls, then we show it for five minutes only. That thappad is shown. अगर एक बर्तन हाथ से छूट जाता है तो उसको भी हम पांच मिनट दिखाते हैं तो दैट इज व्हाट सोप अपराज आर ऑल अपर क्योंकि सास भी कभी बहु थी इन ओडिया ओडिया आई वुड से देर आर सो मेनी सोप अपराज आई 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 एम फॉरगेटिंग समबी यू कैन हेल्प मी हियर विद द नेम ऑफ सम ओडिया बेस्ड सोप अपराज आई आई डोंट रिमेंबर एन ओडिया बेस्ड आई ऑल्दो आई डोंट वॉच टेलीविजन अ लॉट सो आई एम नॉट एकदम राइट थिंग जो सास बहु सीरियल जहाँ भी अच्छी कली झगड़ा ब्लाइंड बिलीफ ये गुड़ा सब बर्तमान चली सोप अपरा हूँ जो टर्म टाइम हलीउड रु आम से टर्म टाइम कर मेगा सीरियल डेली सोप ये सब वार्ड गुड़ाक देखा गल प्रकृत सीरियल एपिसोडिक फर्म अफ स्टोरी another question what is documentary film what is doc it's not a document film it's a documentary uh, yeah documentary and documentary films are basically you know real life depiction of events in a film making format so in documentary films you are basically showing the reality as it is and uh, you are you are not uh, you know using actors to de- depict the reality in a cinema or a film uh, you are you can show a real life Say for example, you know the film of uh, 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 which film? There are so many sports films in India which we see. Mary Com, for example. Mary Com is not a documentary film. It is a commercial cinema which shows the real life of Mary Com. But if you were to make a documentary I, I, film, uh, yes, the uh, very sir. Uh, Mary Mary Com, sir. Uh, I just want to add here. Mary Com is a biopic. It's, it's a, a biopic. It's a, it's a kind of film. it's a kind it, of feature film yeah it is a feature it's film it's a commercial cinema commercial cinema and documentary film based on the purely documentation jota ki in jogata particular organization dwara kar de that is not com- made for only commercial releases and it, it that's what i said and it also includes the use of real life footages real life people so a documentary on mary com would have interviews with mary com herself that is what you know would distinguish between a documentary film and a commercial cinema so uh, the ashish sir you were saying something uh, uh documentary film ra agote bada plus point ho che documentary film ra based on facts and figures a jo ta ki lack kare amara picture film ra picture film ra amara sider fact and figure jodi ho thai ta purbur research and development ba r&d hei thai kintu ta ko tike exaggerate kari dekha jae ta ko tike melodramatic way ra dekha jae ऑडियंस को अट्रैक्ट करिया तार मेन उद्देश्य जोटा कि डॉक्यूमेंटरी फिल्म रो सेटर अट्रैक्शन नाही डॉक्यूमेंटरी फिल्म फॉल रिलीज हुए नाही कोनोसे यूट्यूब रे भी आपण देखि परबे नाही एबे एबे रिसेंट ट्रेंड किचडा यूट्यूबर जो माने बाय डॉक्यूमेंटरी फिल्म मेकर निजर जर यूट्यूब चॅनल करके से माने प्रोड्यूस करचोंदी अदरवाइज प्रीवियसली कोनोसे जगह रे आपण डॉक्यूमेंटरी चाहिले इच्छा करले भी देखि परबे ने आ वेबडीसी हो बा अन्य अन्य संस्था जे माने डॉक्यूमेंटरी गडा एंटी हापाजड मॅनर रे करिगिरे स्टोरेज भाबे रख देसन आपण चाहिले कोनोसे जिंस देख परबे ने जदी चाहिबे गोटे वेदांत रे गोटे भलो डॉक्यूमेंटरी अछि से माने करचन तांको कम केमती वेदांत कोन कोन काम करूची जद इन केस केस स्टडीज जमा नै परबा एटा अछि मु केबे दकर पडि मु आ को शेयर कर देबे आपन मन सहित यस आ आशीष सर यू आर सेइंग समथिंग आर देयर एनी मोर क्वेश्चंस संबित नो सर आई थिंक इट्स ओवर 
okay i uh, just would like to tell the listeners that uh, today's uh, session was interrupted because of uh, mainly i think because of the weather that we are having and uh, uh, we initially thought of rescheduling the class but, uh, i think sujit sir has done a wonderful job by uh, that despite the interruptions uh, that he has he has still uh, carried on and he has still tried to cover most aspects of uh, film production as he said right from the beginning that film pro production cannot be uh, cannot be uh, discussed in just one session uh, and uh, he he told from the from the beginning that he was just trying to touch the tip of the iceberg but still i think he has done a done a good job but we'll keep keep it in mind that uh, today's session was disturbed mainly because of uh, technical reasons and uh, if possible and if there are certain things that uh, uh, our students uh, would like to know more about film production then sujit sir is taking two more classes uh, his classes will be on international and intercultural communication and if there are there are certain aspects of uh, film production that uh, the our learners feel should be discussed then they can they can definitely contact us and uh, we can we can do some some amount of film production uh, in the, in the in the in the subsequent classes maybe towards the end after we are through with our discussion of international and intercultural communication we can leave some time for film production sujit sir will that do sujit sir will that be okay Uh, yes sir uh, uh, i am fine with it. yes uh, ashish sir it will okay. be fine i am okay sambit aap kuch kahe ko chahiye ma yes sir i just want to uh, add something aaj ji session to jaha sir kahutle je interrupted session jodi aap kuch lagu nahi je mo taraf par mo announce karchu ki mo gote session ne bhi jo tar ki different aspects of cinema mo satre pilan ko kahe pai chahunchu jodi possible ta dhire phue ta la seta niyati rakhiba Okay, ठीक है जी. Okay, so I uh, I thank uh, my special thanks to Mr. Sujit uh, uh, Mohanty for his for his session on film production. Uh, let me tell the learners that we have uh, two more classes to be taken by Sujit sir, and uh, those will be classes on uh, international and intercultural communication, which is JMC fifteen, JMC पंद्रह रे जो आपन को international और intercultural communication अच्छी. तात्रे गुटे uh, inaugural class भी निया ही सारी ची. Our block two or block three uh, will be taken by Sujit sir uh, uh, on on uh, tomorrow and the day after. I think Kalira class Egatta bade achi. Tomorrow we have a we have a class on eleven. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, sir. It is eleven thirty. If okay. I'm not wrong, so, I'll just we'll, I'll just check it again. So we have uh, we have our classes tomorrow mm -hmm. and and uh, the day after, uh, where we discuss international intercultural communication towards the end. The total is sorry, sir. So I'm sorry. Just one minute. Sorry, sir. Jadi, I'll ponder for a minute. If the learners feel they have some questions still left on film production, then we can deal with those questions uh, after we are through with our discussion of international and intercultural communication. Okay, so thank you, thank you, sir, for your session. I think it was uh, it was uh, a very difficult job today, uh, on the part of the resource person to to keep hanging on despite the interruptions. I know how tough it is, uh, but still, I I would I would congratulate him for the kind of persistence that he has shown, and uh, I would also thank my my learners, our learners, for the patience they have shown. Uh, we we meet uh, Sujit sir tomorrow at eleven. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much sir, thank for you, your sir. kind words.